Hey data fans, Reed here. Today I want to talk about documentation and note taking for Power BI desktop files. Now I'm not the hugest fan of having to take separate notes, maintaining a separate document or a OneNote sheet or anything else like that. So whenever I can, I want to integrate it directly inside of a Power BI desktop file. So I'm going to show you a handful of ways to document some report features that self-service report authors can see and be able to leverage and also some note taking places as well in documentation spots for other developers, either for yourself or another developer who can see those later on if they come back and look at the file itself. So let's go ahead and hop into Power BI and get started. So to start off this conversation, I want to approach us from the report end user perspective, more specifically people who might do self-service reporting off of your model. Now, all of the fields that you have over in your data pane can have descriptors that can show up in a tooltip. Coming over to the model view, that means that the tables, the columns of the measures, when you type in anything in the description here, so used for metrics, uh, for DAX uh, calculations, let's just put that in here. And then let's come back to the model view. And now if we hover over this, we'll get the description in there. Now there's a couple of ways to do this and also save yourself some time. You can do it one item at a time. So at your tables, your measures, or your columns level. You do also have a new option that's in preview right now, which is create with Copilot. Now I don't have any workspaces enabled that are an F64 skew or higher, unfortunately. It is something that's reserved for higher capacity fabric skews at this moment in time, but I'm sure that will lower down someday. But otherwise, one measure at a time, you can click this and it will generate a script that will try to explain in plain English whatever your measure might be showing. Now, the other trick that I want to mention, or better said technique, is going to leverage Tabular Editor. This will work with Tabular Editor 2 or 3, but I do have Tabular Editor 3 open, so I'm going to go ahead and open that. And this comes from a video that I did a few years ago, but essentially there's a little script for each measure that you have. The description equals the expression. So in this case, the YOY sales that you see here, that's what's being populated into this. So all of the measures automatically take A and move it to B. So I'm going to run this. And after running this, I'm going to close down Tabular Editor, save changes to my model. Don't need to save the scripts for the moment. And we can see that in each one of these now, the description for the calculations has been put inside of the description window here and will then show up when you hover over this as well. So now we're basically passing through whatever the formula is. So one of my favorite spots to put notes into there. But regardless of what you choose to type in, it does go a long way of annotating or documenting what you are doing, either in English or with code, the items that you have in your fields list. Now approaching this more from a developer perspective and all the places where you can leave notes for a developer, I'll also have some suggestions and recommendations as well. Starting off from the report layer, one thing that I did in, in a previous video that I'll show again here is the fact that with my bookmarks, I like to leave notes inside of the actual bookmark group. So in this case, I have a bookmark that just toggles between two visuals. And over here on the right, there is a text box that I have that just provides details about what the bookmark is doing. So I won't go into too much of an explanation for that. The link into the other video is down below in the description. You can go ahead and check that out. But essentially, it's a nice spot to integrate some notes that's built into the file rather than separate documentation. Now moving along the lines with this conversation, we can also do this coming back to the model view in the measures themselves. So if you're writing these out, it's pretty easy and organic to be able to just do a couple forward slashes, add some notes in here as you type this out. Those can go in any line. But again, for developers, yourself or somebody else, these can go a long way in helping you remember what you are doing with a particular measure or what it is being used for in the model, especially if it's a unique measure that has a lot of code or complexities to it. Now we can take that similar approach also in Power Query, coming up to Home, Transform, opening up the Power Query window. And in this case, what I want to do is show you a couple of places to add some notes built into your queries. So as an example, any one of these applied steps can very easily have notes added to it. If you right click and open the context menu, go to Properties, let's type in some happy notes here. And then if you click OK, what we'll get is an automatic symbol that indicates that there's notes, a tooltip will show it. And technically what it's doing is it's adding it right here in the advanced editor. So if I actually wanted to add notes to any of these, I could actually technically come in and just do it right above the line. Notes as well, something to type into there. 
and that will put it into this. But the easier way, if you don't want to edit code, is simply just to go to the properties menu, type it in there. And that works at the query level too. So they also have a properties menu. Notes can be typed in here. And then if you hover over it, you'll get some notes as well to explain what the query is doing. So if you have a step that needs further explanation or you have a query that needs further explanation, good places to do that. And last but not least, closing back out of this, don't save my changes and I'll go ahead and discard those. Two other places that you can actually leave some detailed notes as well. Number one is having a hidden page. That's what I've done for years is I'll have a larger text box, maybe some explanations of what's going on in the model or anything related to that. But it's something that works well enough, but you have extra pages. Now though, with the new DAX query view that's over here, this is also a great place where you could actually just technically type in some notes. Yes, it is used to run measures, but if you have any staging queries that need to be done for testing, or you just wanted to type some notes in as well, any of these could be saved as general notes, just as long as you have the um, forward slashes on to basically annotate and just type out your general notes that you would have here. And this means that you'll never have any of the saved pages that are hidden that could be seen in edit mode in the Power BI service. But there's a few different locations that you've seen of where to add some notes in here. Again, I know the value and importance of having notes, but I want to integrate them as much as possible inside of Power BI desktop files versus having separate documents or PDFs, which are useful sometimes, but as much as possible when I can ingrain the notes right into my file, that's what I want to do across the board. So hopefully this has been useful for you. I'd love to see if you might implement these in any of your reports or models as well. So drop some comments down below for any of that. Always look for suggestions for future videos. Check out some of my related content here on the upper left. And as always, liking, commenting, and subscribing will help my channel organically grow. And I will otherwise see you in my next video.